okay so i'm gonna fix few of the bugs that we have in this system first one is that uh, if i started flying over you can see i can uh, push the board with the uh, foot let me show you even if i'm in air i can do the pushing so we need to prevent that and also this uh, animation speed that we are we push with the foot it doesn't really match with the speed of the skateboard so i need to fix that too all right so let's get started uh, see how to prevent pushing with the foot first mm. all right so oh we need to prevent jumping also i think we can do a kick flip type of a thing we are still in the air see it's kind of like jumping in the middle of there that's not possible okay so how do we detect if we are already in there so we can actually do it last time we implemented this mechanism uh, to detect sounds we play sounds when if we are in the air that means if this uh, this on ground value for each wheel if this value divided by 4 if all the wheels are on ground this will be 4 by divided with 4 I will get 1 so if this true will be executed more than two wheels are on ground so I'll add another boolean variable in here and if this is in this case the that variable would be should be true no this value larger than 0.5 means we have more than two wheels on ground so we are not in air so let's set in air with the not of this value like this right then i'll put it uh, here for the jumping let's first add a branch and check if is in air if we are in air already in air we should not be able to do a jump so this should be false right and shall we test it pushing animation when we are in air so for that let's go to this onboard moment part here also we have to have the same condition which is we should be able to push only if we are not in air Break this like this and I have to do the same thing for the move right as well Right now, let's check. Okay, now the pushing animation is not working if I am already in air. That is. 
next part is speed of the bush animation so here you can see especially if I try to move up we can notice it let me show it here so it would be better if the animation is slower uh, when we when the moment speed is slow okay so how do we do that I don't remember where do we play the push animation is it in the montage yeah yeah that's the animation okay uh, here we have the play rate oh wait wait mm -hmm. yeah we already have implemented this play rate so we can get the speed uh, where do we get the speed actually we calculate the speed mm -hmm. based on the simulation speed of sim sphere we are not we can't really get the character movement speed because the character movement is based on the simulation uh, of this sim sphere if you remember the way we implemented the physics based movement system so yeah here we have get simulated velocity PO function and we can uh, uh, okay again we can use that oh, this part is disconnected so let me delete it we can use this function uh, to derive the play rate but I don't remember what kind of a value we get all ah, right I remember it's something in between 0 to 1500 I think yeah so let's say let's divide this by 1000 And connect and now let's see no. that's not good let's try 100 it too slow initially that looks like a lot right let's try this way Let's clamp this. Sorry. This in between uh, 0.5 and 1 1.5. <laughs> Still 
paste this into 800 and start from somewhere like this so I can check the low speed better not perfect but better than what we had before all right so i think we can stop this episode right here uh, i need to check one more thing how do we determine the end of animation Completed, but all right. Uncompleted, do notify begin. So we reset it. Uncompleted, do notify begin. Yeah, so that's fine. Okay, so with this, I can stop this episode and. As always, project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.